Akita Inu. Bred as very effective guard dogs, Akita Inus are an excellent combination of dignity with docility, alert courage, and overall good nature. And this Japanese breed of dog will take today's video. Today at Dog Law, we'll cover the most important aspects of the Akita Inu. Let's begin. The Akita Inu, also known as Japanese Akita or simply Akita, is one of the most popular and beloved Japanese breeds in the world. The breed became popular for wider breeders after 2009's Hachiko based on the true story about an Akita Inu that waited for his owner for more than nine years after his death. Since then, everybody praises the Akita as an extremely loyal breed. Some consider it to be the most loyal breed in the world. For this reason, it became impossible for us not to make a video about this breed and address to some people who want to know more about it, because maybe you're thinking of adopting one or have just adopted one and want to know all about it. So let's see how we can stash the most important things in the next few minutes. The Akita Inu The Japanese Akita Inu is a Spitz-type dog that originates from the most northern mountain regions of mainland Japan. There are in fact two types, being the American Akita and the Japanese Akita Inu, with the dogs being differentiated by their coat colours. Both are powerful large dogs that command a lot of presence no matter where they are. Appearance The Japanese Akita Inu is a well-balanced large dog and one that boasts having a sturdy solid build. Strong and muscular with a flat heavy head and strong short muzzle, the Akita has a deep broad chest and a level back. The dog is slightly longer than he is tall. A shallow furrow extends well up the forehead. The ears are small and erect, carried forward and in line with the neck. The Akita is double coated. The outer coat is harsh and waterproof. The undercoat is thick and soft. They do not have any feathering or hint of a ruff around their necks whatsoever. They prefer living in cold environments due to their coat's thickness. Coat colors are pure white, red, sesame, brindle and fawn. The colours should be without clear borders. A black mask is forbidden. Males measure typically 63 to 78 centimetres at the withers and weigh between 45 to 59 kilograms. Females typically measure 58 to 63 centimetres and weigh between 32 to 45 kilograms. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel to keep supporting our content. Do you think there's a breed more loyal than the Akita Inu? Let us know in the comments. Temperament Akitas are one of the most challenging breeds to understand and to raise. They're more primitive in their ways of thinking and their behaviours than most other breeds. Their facial expressions and body language are more subtle and thus harder to read than most other breeds. They have an independent mind of their own. Many Akitas are willful, obstinate and dominant and will make you prove that you can make them do things. Leaving the bads aside, the Akita is docile, intelligent, courageous and fearless, careful and very affectionate with its family. Sometimes spontaneous, it needs a firm, confident, consistent pack leader. Japanese mothers would often leave their children in the family Akita's care. They are extremely faithful and thrive on firm leadership from their handlers. It should be supervised with other household pets and children. Having said this, they are independent dogs that don't mind being left on their own, provided it's never for too long. A bored Japanese Akita can get up to all sorts of mischief, which includes keeping themselves entertained by destroying items around the house. The Japanese Akita Inu is not a good choice for first-time dog owners because they need to be trained and handled by people who are familiar with the specific needs of these energetic, smart dogs. If not well socialized and trained correctly from a young enough age, a Japanese Akita could quickly get the better of an owner, making them that much harder to live with. Akitas tend to take a socially dominant role with other dogs, and thus caution must be used in situations where Akitas are likely to be around other dogs, especially unfamiliar ones. In particular, Akitas tend to be less tolerant of dogs of the same sex. Japanese Akitas have a very playful side to their natures and love to entertain and be entertained. They're known to be very quick and rather mischievous when the mood takes them, and being so clever, a dog quickly learns how to open a cupboard door to get any treats that might be in there. While they're better suited in a house with a backyard, they can adapt quickly to an apartment space as long as they're provided with enough exercise. A daily walk is often needed. They're not too excessive barkers unless they have a reason 
and some of these dogs prefer to howl instead of bark. Is it the right dog for you? It would be better if you fit the following requirements. If you are a. a person with a strong character and prepared to take the lead when the dog misbehaves, b. an experienced dog owner, and c. live in a somewhat cold city. This dog is then perfect for you. Of course, there are exceptions, and there are first-time dog owners who've done well with an Akita, so these requirements do not apply to everyone. If you have the patience and the character, you could give the Akita Inu a try. That's our video for today. We hope we covered enough of this breed. Tell us in the comments if you think we missed anything, and support our channel by hitting the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.